What's good, y'all? It's your boy Mo signing on again for Fresh Colorway. And today, we're going to take a look at the Jordan 5 Moonlight. And if you need help copying this shoe, make sure you check out our last video on how to get sneakers at retail price. Just click this link above. Also, the link will be down in the description. Now, I got to start by shouting out my Bengals. We took the win today over the Vikings. So we want to know on the season, off to a good start, who they? Now this Jordan 5 is basically the exact same shoe as the Jordan Oreo that released back in 2013. Back in 2013, when the Oreo 5s released, they retailed at 170. And as you can see, this shoe has an all black suede upper, a clear cage on the middle of the shoe, it's a white midsole, black shark teeth with the paint splatters, and the icy outer sole. Just a little history about the Jordan 5 and the design. First off, shout out to the OG Tinker Hatfield. He designed the Jordan 5s, and his inspiration behind the shoe was based on a World War II fighter jet. So that's why you got the shark teeth on the front and just kind of the whole aggressive stance of the Jordan 5. I can say this shoe is really a work of art. Now for me, the Jordan 5 is one of my favorite silhouettes. And I do have a few of them in the collection, with my first being the off-white 5s, as well as right here, the fire red 5s, one of my favorites, uh, one of my favorite pickups from last year, that is. And one thing I can say about these Oreo is that they really give you that metallic five feel, the black metallics. Unfortunately, I ain't got that in my collection. I need to grab them because they ain't released since what? I want to say it was 2016, the last time we got metallic fives. If I had to put a grade on this shoe, uh, I would give it about an eight out of 10. For me, when it comes to Jordan 5s, I'm just so used to having that 3M reflective on the tongue. That kind of is what makes a 5 a 5 in my book. So with these not having no 3M or no reflective on the tongue, I kind of had to dock it a few points. So that's why I give it the 8 out of 10. All in all, it is a very clean colorway. Me, myself, I might add it to the collection. I'm really waiting on the on the black metallic fives, if you want to be honest, you know. Once we give, get those again, I'll definitely be adding those to the collection. But, you know, this would be a good pickup if you don't have the black metallic fives. But me, myself, it's going to be a game time decision whether or not I grab them on drop day. Now, these Jordan fives were pushed back, and now they set to release on the September 25th date. So, you want to check in with your local stores to make sure that you're able to grab these when they do release. Now, let me know down in the comment section what you think about these shoes. Is this something that you're gonna cop and add to your collection? Or is it something you're gonna leave at the store and wait till a different pair come out? Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, at Fresh Colorway on both platforms. And I'll catch y'all next time.